the Arctic. Okay. Picture this. Imagine there's like beautiful skies and uh, mountains. There's there's polar bears too. And when you close your eyes, there's nobody else except you and the earth. Imagine giant icebergs floating around everywhere. Imagine that when you look around you, you see mountains with snow-covered peaks and the crystal clear water. Where the energy is so, so raw and so powerful, and makes you, it makes you want to it makes you want to act. You have to see it for yourself and don't get caught up like in taking pictures and stuff. Like just look at it and live in the moment. And the sense of scale is enormous. It's just, it's, it's incredible. There's mountains, there's animals. Imagine history. A group of people living a nomadic lifestyle. Living off the land, respecting the land a land of life. Now imagine you hear nothing. No cars, no airplanes, just silence. That's what it's like being in the Arctic. Just try and imagine barren tundra, no trees, even though it seems like you can't live here because it's too hard, Inuit lived here, Inuit thrived here. They had all these resources that they gained from the ocean, from the land, and from the sky. I mean, imagine a place where risk is embraced as a central part of the educational algorithm. If we're willing to look, we can learn a lot and we can really experience things outside of our realm. Imagine voir l'eau d'un glacier qui fond en ce moment. Imagine a context in which people of different traditions and different cultures can come together in a bubble of trust. Imagine a circumstance in which people enter that community with the expectation of getting connected to it, but also uh, building knowledge that they'll be able to take away as individuals. You imagine all that and I think you imagine uh, the power of Students on Ice. Hi, I'm Lindsay Toscano and I'm from Queens, New York. Hi, my name is William Raynon and I'm from Bronx, New York. My name is Philly, I'm from New York City, Manhattan. It's so beautiful and especially being from the city, I never get the opportunity to do this. It's amazing. I learned that human impact can negatively impact everything. Like one little action could be a difference to the environment, to animals, to everything. It has impacted me to become a better citizen, a better person, and a better friend too. I haven't really gone outside the country, so like being from the U.S., I don't really get to experience this. So experiencing something new has like changed me a lot. To be honest, I would never thought that I would be able to come to the Arctic and meet all these people from different cultures and from different communities. People are spiritually connected to their land. That everything we do is like, it's for, it's like everything in the land, they're spiritually connected. That they're, it's, it's part of their, who they are. I be, I'm thinking more of being more proactive than reactive. That we shouldn't do something after like a, a bad thing happened. We should do it before it happens. That when I grew up in the Philippines, I was also part, I was not in the city. I was more in the farming and then like fishing. And I just see them how they depended on the animals, like how they are very, their life depended on the environment. And that's what made me kind of more connected to them. Every day I wake up and I see 
this beautiful view that's completely different from like the tall skyscrapers and like the noisy traffic. And here I just hear the sea and I smell it. I got to drink glacier water. It's very different. Definitely like completely out of the range from Manhattan to here, the Arctic. Um, I'm mostly used to like going to the city, hanging out with my friends, going to the movies, but here I'm like going on hikes, eating seal, doing all these different workshops. So it's definitely different from taking the subway. It showed me that it's not really about money or about like luxurious things, it's about like who you are and like the people around you. I think I'll definitely be changed. I think I'll be more motivated to spread this awareness of all this sea ice melting and the glaciers melting. I think that it'll help me to become a new person and like help the environment more. Thank you to the Beatrice Snyder Foundation for giving me the scholarship. I would never have this opportunity without you. And being from the city, from the U.S., I would never have this experience and it's amazing. So thank you so much. I would like to thank the Beatrice Snyder Foundation. I did not think that I'd be able to go on such an amazing journey. I never really imagined it, but now thanks to you, I can actually go back home and tell people about it. So thank you, I learned so much. I would like to thank the Beatrice Snyder Foundation for giving me this opportunity. Because who would have thought that a kid from the Philippines who moved to New York was able to see the Arctic and appreciate its beauty. Thank you.